both the double down tube, double cradle frame and the triangular swing cage rear end come made from tubular steel stock in a fairly traditional layout if one ignores that special swing arm for a moment. In keeping with the sporty bobber origins, the frame comes built to handle with 25.8 degrees of rake and a 3.5 inch trail with a 59.4 inch wheelbase. This gives the bobber an eagerness in the corners that experienced riders will appreciate while maintaining enough stability to be noob friendly. On paper, the Kim suspension is a bit of a letdown with nothing in the way of adjustment, not even preload on the rear monoshock. As unforgivable as this might seem, the factory seems to have struck a nice balance between bump absorbing plushness and corner carving stiffness, and as far as the preload adjustment goes, since it only mounts a solo seat there will be no variable passenger weight in the equation. Wheel travel is right around 3.0 and 3.5 inches for back and front, respectively, plenty for around town and even back roads, but you better keep it off the brown. Stay on the black and don't be jumping any railroad tracks. Lace trims mount the 19-inch front and 16-inch rear hoops, and the rear hub comes with drum brake influenced features for even more retro appeal. As for the brakes themselves, the front gets but a single, 310mm distant 2 pot